Let's see some of the mnemonics. So DNA. For DNA, Z versus B, which is inactive. So remember, Z is sleeping. Okay? And Z form of DNA will be inactive because it is sleeping. It is telling Z inactive. So B, B positive. So this is active. So this is the mnemonic for Z versus B form. Okay. And next. DNA bond strength. Remember crazy glue. C for cytosine. Triple bond. G for guanine. So crazy glue. This glue will bind tightly. Whereas adenine. Double bond. Thymine. So this is a weaker bond. So RNA primer will make an initial break at the weaker bond. And remember next thing is guanine and adenine are two rings, heterocyclic two rings. And next for pyrimidines. Pyrimidines, the mnemonic is C-U-T cut. Cytosin, uracil, thymine are one ring structure. And purines are double ringed structure. And pyramidins are one ringed structure. You have to remember the mnemonic cut, CUT cut. And next for WBC count. So never let monkeys eat bananas. Neutrophils, 60%. Lymphocytes, 30 percentage. Monocytes, 6 percentage. Isinophils, 3 percentage. And basophils, which releases histamine, serotonin, heparin, one percentage. So six three six three one. So sixty thirty six three one. So for sickle cell anemia. So just remember regarding the mutation. So, sixth, remember like sixth. So, sixth amino acid
of B chain got muted. Sixth amino acid of B chain got muted. You can remember like this. Sixth. So the sixth position of so HP beta chain valine is present instead of uh, uh, glutamic acid. So you can remember the mnemonic HPS isn't very good. So valine is present instead of glutamic acid. That too at the sixth position. So for enzyme classification over the hill. So O for oxidal reductase, T for transferases, H for hydrolases, I for isomerases, and L for lyases, and another L for ligases. So uh, enzymes get the reaction over the hill. So these are some more mnemonics regarding 